So all believers move in kingship in some degree, in dominion, all, in rulership of, of their sphere of influence. Um, all believers move in the priesthood and all believers move and function in some degree as judges, as divine judges, based on what, what God is saying, moving in his righteous judgment. That's a whole nother message for a whole nother day. But this is the thing that I want you guys to know. So I'm bringing slight distinguishings between. So one function is, is sent to encourage, to edify, to comfort. The other is sent to people who need to be brought back into alignment with God in the sense of rebellion and sin. But also their other function is to raise people up in the prophetic. So this is very important for I want you guys to see. The gift of prophecy, someone who's called to function in the gift of prophecy, is not necessarily called to equip the body in the prophetic. This is one of the biggest distinguishers between someone called to the fivefold and someone who's not called to the fivefold. The gift of prophecy, God doesn't use that function to raise up a prophetic people. He uses that primarily. Its limits are to edify, comfort, and exhort. Whereas prophets are called to equip believers in the prophetic supernaturally. You guys see what I'm saying? That's it. That is a major difference. That's a major difference, guys. That they are called to equip people in the prophetic. That's why when I was saying when prophets come around, the prophetic anointing on their life should be contagious. And that's why anybody that came around a prophet, that prophetic mantle on them, it, it released measures of prophetic anointing on other people. That's why Samuel was born in a time where the prophetic was really not very strong. It says the word of the Lord was rare in those days. Revelation was rare in those days. But because of the because of Samuel's mantle, it increased the prophetic in an entire generation.